Hi, I'm Marilyn Alice and I thought today that we would have a little bit of fun with some pen and wash. This is really simple and it's a great way of not being tight and fiddly. Now I'm going to start with a little bit of masking fluid, not something that I use an awful lot other than mixed media and I'm just going to highlight all the areas that I want to keep white when I put my very loose washes on with um, a very big brush. So just sort of squint and anywhere that you can see the white highlights that you want to keep just pop those on. I'm using an applic a foam applicator and some blue masking fluid just around those ears and they will stand out really nicely on that lip Now, if we put a little bit too much, we can always soften this at the later stage, but I do advise not to overdo it. But we do want a few of these areas um, to look very obvious. And this will just make it so much easier when we put the wash on, just using the tip. And around that ear. Nice, lovely highlight there. I want to keep that bit all white and get rid of that dribble a bit later, that won't matter. And the shape of that leg. Okay, that's going to be enough for now, so we'll have to let that get really dry and then we can put the washes on. Right, now the fun next stage. I'm going to use some cadmium orange and a rich sepia, but we're going to put this on really, really loose. So first of all, I'm going to wet just some of the paper because I don't want too many hard lines. And then I'm going to put some of the orange in. And I'm just looking a little bit where the dark shapes are um, on the sheet but not too much because um, we want it to be really really loose. Now if you're tempted to be too sort of harsh and do too much and be too fiddly close your eyes and do this stage and then that will get the response that you need. So. All right just a little bit more maybe a little bit there And just a little bit of splattering, I think. And we'll just leave that to dry now. now. Before I take this masking fluid off, I can just see a few areas that might need a little bit more of the orange. But I want this to be quite pale. So I'm washing it down with quite a lot of water. I'll just run that over these areas. So again, keeping it loose. And that should be enough. So now I've got to let that get really dry uh, before I try to remove the masking fluid. Just using one of these crepe mask aways, we're gonna just take away all that masking fluid but we must make sure that the paint is absolutely dry before we do the stage. This makes it so much easier than using your finger. Now that's all the masking fluid removed. Just using some Quink ink and a bamboo pen, I'm just going to dip the pen into the ink and just sketch in some of the lines. You know, it's lovely using a, bam a bamboo pen because it's sort of quite random. And 
and um, it just sort of makes a nice um, mark on the paper. I quite like using this for quite a lot of things that I do. Let's just concentrate on their nose for a little bit. Just make it a nice mark. Now again, we don't want to overdo this. We can put too many lines in and spoil it. So we just really need enough uh, to make it interesting. Now before you do this stage, you must make sure that the paint is absolutely dry. So if you've added any more, just make sure it's dry before you go on to do this. Good. Got a fluffy bit coming right there. Well, these sheep are really gorgeous, aren't they? They can be bribed to take photographs with um, carrots. Let's just get that head in. It's a bit of that nose shape. A lovely grinning mouth. I think that one's had its carrots already. bit there. So I'm very conscious not to overdo these marks. Now I've had to put it flat um, because you couldn't do this upright, um, not with this sort of bamboo pen. All right, what I'm going to do in a minute is I'm going to pull out some of the darker shapes with some water. Let's just grab a little bit of water on the end of a brush and just tweak before that dries. Now if it starts to dry, not a problem, because what we can do is we can just ink it a little bit more. Just like that. But I'm just being very cautious not to overdo this. Just ink down here. So I've got a few little indications of light and dark shapes. I love their legs. Just look at how skinny they are at the bottom. I will say when we're doing this, we do need to pay quite a lot of attention to the drawing in the first place. Because that's what really makes it work. If your drawing's correct, it will look good. And there are lots of ways we can get over being scared of drawing. We can use scale finders. They're really good. It actually sort of starts to help you see where things are. That's something that I use for quite a long time. Double toed feet. It's very skinny legs. A bit of a leg there. I love the sort of way that they're sitting at the camera. All right, let's pull some of that out too. A little bit more there. And just a little bit down there to shape them eyes that's so quite soft and yeah it's starting to come on we can always add more but it's really difficult to take it out if you put ink in so I'm just being a little bit cautious so let's just get a little bit of um, shadow off of here that's from my leg that side right, on to the last one same sort of thing. Well, as you can see, I've only concentrated on this trio. I've left out the sheep that are grazing in the background. It's the simpler we can keep this, the better. And let's check those eyes. They're really horrible eyes. Okay. And that nose. Different 
shape again. I think it's got its mouth open already for carrots. I'll just pick out some of the shapes. some clear water before that dries. are coming on quite nicely. I always use the pen side which doesn't have um, a hole in it because we don't really need the hole, not for doing this. Like there. Oh look at these, beautiful legs. much and yeah that's dark there quite a lot darker so just dip into the ink in the lid for that and there one little dark leg that's quite dark and just darken that tummy bit too just a few more little tweaks I've added a little bit more orange quite vibrant with dry brush marks and I'm now happy that I've um, finished my pen and wash thank you for watching and um, please look out for more as I do more different things in acrylics mixed media watercolor and add them to the YouTube thank you